Stupid, big, smelly, spotty, <laughs> specky Simon. With boils all over your back, no doubt. Aye, Simon the prick. <laughs> Aye, give more money back, and I'll come round there and I'll bust every one of the boils on your back. <laughs> Aye, you prick. Hello, what's there? Crack was the story. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. I just got back from Switzerland. I went to Switzerland for Valentine's Day. It was absolutely lovely. Got back last night. I had a lovely sleep. And I said, you know what? I got to get back to recording straight away. I absolutely miss reacting. This is Steel Game Series 1, Episode 6. I'm absolutely loving Steel Game. This is about scones. Grab a tea. Grab a coffee. Grab a cappuccino just like me. And let's go. Is this the one where John Wayne has to go and find Natalie Wood? No, that's Shut the up. searchers. She drowned, you know. What? She drowned, I'm saying. Shut up. <laughs> and this? In real life. Every bloody week. She was married to him out of heart to heart. Can he mind his name? Was it Sterling Hayden? No, he didn't pay his taxes. Like Joseph Locke. Ken Dodd was the same. <laughs> it's no right, you know. Was it Dana Andrews who was oh, not Jesus, I'm going to shoot myself. Oh. Here, keep your voices down, eh? Some of you are here to watch a picture. Oh. I well, so are we. Was it Robert Stack? No, he was Elliot Ness. Oh, that's going to annoy me. Shh. and mustard without butter. There's butter on this. Is there? I'm sure I put the buttered ones at the bottom. There's definitely butter on this, and you know I don't take butter. I know, that's why I put them at the bottom. That's no like me. Let's see if these have butter on them or not. It's too dark. Me butter? <laughs> butter. <laughs> True. I'll never speak. You Jack, that's the bit with the hot pokers. There is the silver dog. And then it has to be. Robert Wagner. So yeah, I'm sure everyone has experienced that. I absolutely hate that. I, I, sometimes I go to the movies to sleep because I'm the kind of person that when I'm in a dark place, in a dark room, I just fall asleep. But just shut up. Stop chatting shit. And also, do you guys buy snacks in the cinema? I can't remember last time I burned snacks in the cinema. What I tend to do, I go to Tesco. I get some M&M's. I get some, uh, some popcorn, some toffee popcorn. Ooh, nice, lovely, sticky, sticky, touchy, sticky, touchy. Sorry, let's get back to this. Sorry. <laughs> Sticky touchy. Ah, morning. Earring lady with your big hoops. You hate the Thursday, don't you? Beg pardon? On a Thursday, when I come in for my pension. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. It's written all over your face. It's as if my pension was coming out your own purse. You <laughs> resent it. You having to work and me getting free money. That's ridiculous. No, it isn't. Now, Please can me. I have my free money? I'm afraid I can't, Mr Ingram. Your money's been stopped. <laughs> what? What? We've got a note from the DSS. Your payments have been suspended pending an investigation. Who's next? Don't who's next me. Give me my money. Step away from the window, Mr Ingram. Now, if this is because I was off-hand earlier, then I apologise, but I've not got any money to do me. I need my money. You need to speak to the DSS. You're enjoying this, aren't you, you circus freak? <laughs> <laughs> speak to the DSS. I need money to get... I'm sorry. Give me my money. I'm sorry. No. No. You're lucky. 
you that glass is there! Did you see for listening? I would brange you there and pull me hoops right out your lungs like the shower seat for side go! Pull, pull! <laughs> Right, <clears throat> Jack. You... Let me handle this. What's your name, Simon? Simon. Oh, Simon. It's normally Peter we, we deal with on a Tuesday. Ah, uh, he's not back until Thursday. We swap shifts. Oh, you swapped. <laughs> there you are then. <clears throat> we would like a refund for the 12 p.m. showing of uh, Rio Bravo. I'm sorry. There was a silly old bastard sitting two seats. Jack, <laughs> please. <laughs> Our viewing pleasure was interrupted during said <laughs> match by a rather loud. Default bastard. <laughs> we therefore be grateful. Give my money back. I'm afraid I can't do that. How? Jack, please. Oh. How? It's not a policy. I can give you a credit note that allows you into another screen. What's showing? Um, Gigi a la boucherie. What's that? It's French. Subtitles. Is there any Red Indians in it? No. Is John Wayne in it? No. Give my money back. Money. Peter would have given us my money back. Peter knows us. Well, I'm no Peter. No, you're Simon, eh? Stupid, big, smelly, spotty, <laughs> specky Simon. The boils all over your back, no doubt. Aye, Simon the prick. <laughs> Aye, give my money back, and I'll come round there and I'll bust every one of the boils on your back. Aye, you. Prick! <laughs> there, you give them piss what? off. <laughs> Thanking you. You yeah, actually give them. <laughs> Simon, what cowboy movies are on next week? <laughs> cowboy movies. Oh, Victor Jack. Oh, Christ. Where are you going? Oh, I'm a regular in here from now on. Yeah, but you don't even like the movies. I do when they're for nothing. What's that? GFT Platinum Pass. They ran a competition in last month's brochure and I won it. <laughs> Jammy bastard. Oh, Jammy nothing. <laughs> this wasn't some stupid draw at a daft tombola. No, no. He had to compose the winning entry. Describe 12 words or less. Why you love the GFT? The only flicks I want to see are shown at the GFT. Oh, that's good, eh? Right. Right. Very, right. very good, that. Eh? <laughs> so you get to see three films for a year, then, eh? Mm -hmm. So wait, I'm guessing GFT is like Audion Cinema. So Audion Cinema is the... So you have Audion, you have Lux. Is it Audion Lux? So Audion Lux. IMC. So they, they own the cinemas. So I'm guessing G, GFT. Is it GFT used to be a biggest... Uh, screening bigger company that owned cinemas back in the day please do let me know thank you and on entry a complimentary soft drink coca-cola diet coca-cola <laughs> iron brew fanta so iron brew your choice of hot dogs nachos and get this the knockout punch a family-sized bag of maltesers or revels mm. oh, well, uh, well done tam aye, aye. See you, Oscar. Aye, aye, aye. Well done, Tom. Aye, enjoy the show, Tom. Aye, have a nice time, Tom. Aye, aye. <laughs> Smug prick. Have I hated <laughs> I've had a tight-fisted arseholes to get a freebie. You had to be him, eh? I've never been one for competitions. Competition daft. It has been for years. Uh, we should do that, but You know what I mean, Jack? I mean, it's, it's hardly Burns, is it? The only flicks I want you see. I reckon I could top that, aye. Aye. Join us at the GFT, run by a prick who's spotty and spooky. Spooky, spooky. Here we are. Just the ticket. Hey, sir. Right. Ah, oh, Richard, you look lovely. <laughs> Fuck up. Cup of tea, cream cracker and cheese. Richard and Mummy do that. Right. That was the last thing I was expecting her to do. <laughs> Brought out a random pink dildo. <laughs> oh, Lord. 
fair play to Isaac. You know, everyone to their own. Everyone to their own. You know, you gotta stay healthy. You gotta stay. You know, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Cream crackers and doodles. What else do you need? <laughs> Oh Lord, legend, legend, legend. You gotta live your life to the full. Even if you're 80, 90, 100, keep doing what makes you happy. That's what makes her happy and she's doing it. <laughs> That's why she has loads of energy to be chatting shite everywhere. <laughs> Sorry. Legend. Get off the hook, my sweet. I'll be back for you. <laughs> so Isa, Isa, are you all right? All right. Harry, is it really you? Aye, hey. Who is he? It's me. I've come home. Oh, Harry! Five o'clock and head up. What's outside of? Who the hell were you? Hey! Yeah, uh, this morning at the pictures. Rio Bravo show. I could have made it annoy me to have pictures. Oh, right. So wait, put it back and one. He's got no money and he's down at the bookies. <laughs> God for fuck's sake. Like, all that racing posts is giving me, again, it's giving me flashbacks. Because obviously my uni, when I was in Ireland, was literally across from the bookies. And I remember, sometimes I just go to the bookies just to have some tea and biscuits. And I used to, you have such a great relationship with people that work there. I think, what's her name? Was it Karen? I was a lovely lady that I used to work there, Karen, this older, older lady, so nice. She just gave me my biscuits, my digestive biscuits. She used to get me sure to get in. Uh, in the morning, they get sandwiches. Uh, when there's, when, when Cheltenham is going on, when Pontchestown, it used to be so good, man. Sorry. It just, I'm just getting flashbacks. I'm getting flashbacks out there. Just seeing the newspaper, they all set up. It just looks exactly like my bookies. It's called Ban One Racing in Athlone. That's the one. That's why I grew up. You know, when it comes to, you know, going to the bookies. I'm not a big gambler or nothing like that. I, the most I spend probably like a fiver on a horse. Probably put tenner each way. No, fiver each way to make a tenner. That's the most I'll do. Do not gamble too much. Gamble, but do it to an extent where it's fun. When it stops being fun, when you start feeling, oh my God, oh my God, please stop it. It's not fun. Let's go. Listen, sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Sleight. Jesus. It's 51. <laughs> so? so you've never backed a 51 on your puff? Ah, well, I'm feeling lucky. That horse will go like the wind. 51. Aye, it should do. <laughs> now that it's no pulling a rag and bone cart. <laughs> <laughs> Here you have your nut. That there's glue with a jacket on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm having Victor's hope. 41. He's the old Stevie. That's a donkey. Fast forward your baby. Even money, that's worth 50 bar. <laughs> oh, it's your sale. You enjoy the movie? Oh, we're smashing, Jack. Aye, smashing. Good. Hey, well, Stevie, a bit of luck there, just under the wire, innit? Eh? Oh. And it's a beautiful day at entry as they get underway. The going is perfect for this kind of race. Everyone away quickly, safe hand, sleight of hand. I know, I know most of you guys don't like when I pause it and talk, but it's it's a reaction. Again, when I get something in my mind, I have to say it. Just reminding me, most people don't go to bookies just to go gamble. People go there for their friendship, you know, that's where they meet their friends, you know, their colleagues, not colleagues, but you know, people that they anger. Look at that, look at that. You can just see, like, they won't be there if it's just them. Like, I remember, I won't go to the bookies alone. I'd only go there if a few of my friends are in there. So sometimes it's just that it's not that people are going to camp, but they just want to be part of something, you know. It's just I'm getting flashbacks. It's, you know, it's a beautiful sight right there. Just, just look at that. Look at that. They don't care if they win or lose. Just being there together, celebrating for each other's wins and laughing if someone loses. It's good. It's good. Chill that field. <laughs> <laughs> they the best men nicely. Back together. Victor's hope just starting to nose out now with Conor Christie and fast forward following. Coffee House now showing a bit of interest, moving away from the pack and bringing up the rear. That old campaign has liked to pan. Looking a lot more than on that marvellous day there when the storm hope to take the Scottish champion hurdle way back in. My goodness me, I can't quite remember. Perhaps he thinks 
just a tad early. Only two horses in it now as we post the final three fences. Come on, Dale Vickers. Come on, Dale. Go on, now. Go on, now. Go on. I can tell you now that the Knights of Pounds is making its way to the back. The whip's out, and this horse... Come on, Dale Vickers. Come on, Dale. Come on, Dale. Come on, Dale. Come on, Dale. Vickers hope and fast forward, neck and neck now as they cross the line, and all sleight of hand is trying to edge between them. Come on, Dale Vickers. Come on. Oh. Sleight of hand has gone down. Oh. 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 Fast forward. Oh. And Cobby House comes through to take it. Come on, Christy. Second half. It's what he takes it. Quite a sight. Good news, though. Fast forward is up as is Victor, so both riders are well. But bad news for sleight of hand. Oh, really bad news for the old timer. What? They're putting the sheep round now. <laughs> Nobody likes it. <laughs> so, the sheep are round. Only back to thing. I don't own it. <laughs> um, can I get him to tea? Or maybe a coffee? You dirty jammy bastard. Was that for you? Uh, five pounds, ten to one. Sweet as a nut. Fifty-five. It's a horse shop his arse that boy's got. <laughs> I don't mind a fella having a bit of luck, but it's the smugness that accompanies it with that bastard. Mm. Want to get, get a pint? No, it suits me. You want to get a pint? Bunson! Oh. What's up with him? So, are you gone for a pint, Tom, with your winnings? Oh, I'd like to help you out, boys, but I'm up the road. I've got another competition winning entry to fill in. Is that all you do all day? Just sitting with a wee pen, coming up with limericks for competitions? You like this watch, Victor? Oh, it's lovely, aye, why? Mm. One of only 25 given away. The question? 20 words or less. Why wear a Timex? My answer? <coughs> Time is such a precious thing, with chances sometimes missed. Never lose a moment. Wear a Timex on your wrist. So what's the next thing you're trying to win? 52 weekend breaks, coastal hotels, four star or more. Quite the pretty package, eh? So what product you got to bum up then, Tom? I tell you, but then you'd be competition to me. Good night, boys. Uh, good night. Break. Oh, I'd love a wee coastal break, would you know? I certainly would. <laughs> Mina, you need to buy mere scones. Nay. <laughs> Damn about the last of them, because there's a competition on the back of them. Thank you. Mina, I don't know. Thank you. Just because, Mina. Nay. Mina, this conversation is crushing my soul. <laughs> Me too. Just get up your hole and order my scones, Donnie. <laughs> oh, hello, Isa. Hello, Navid. Pack a links, please. Links? You don't eat links. They give you the heartburn. They're no for me. They're for my man. Your man? Ooh. Harry? He's back. My Aye. man. Showed up this morning. Six years he's been going. Without a word, and then, boof, he's at the door. Uh, boof, huh? I hate Buff going along nicely, minding your own business, and then. <laughs> buff. <laughs> you sure you know what you're doing? I think so. What's up with her? Her man's back. Hey, that bastard. Oh, what's he want now? Eh? Mere money, is it? He's a no use, sir. Mm. Left her portless. Fair so. <sighs> She's a daft cow. She's taking him back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show her a little compassion. Life's not all black and white. It's a hard job for a woman to go through the rest of her life alone. You any stuff in here with competitions yeah. in the back here? Aye, prizes. Yeah. I feel like when you get into that, that age as well, sometimes, like, we're, we're all human, even me, sometimes it's just, it's tough. And I'm, and I'm the, I always say, you know, be happy by yourself. But sometimes you just need someone. You do need someone. And she's probably playing, she's like in her early 70s, late 60s there, you know, in the show. And not having someone, even if they treat you bad, you just, you don't mind that sometimes. Just having someone with you that you can share life with. You, you just start forgetting about the cons of being with them, even though it's not right for you, but you just feel like you need someone. So I do get where she's coming from. Looks like the geezer is, is bad for her. He just comes and goes. It looks like they're saying he needs money. That's why he came back. But for her, you can see earlier on, she was, you know, she was with a dildo, you know. Sometimes you just need someone. We all need someone. Whether you like it or not, I don't care how strong you are. You do need someone. We, we as human beings, we are meant to be with people, you know. You can try to be alone for as long as you can, but you do need an human being with you.
I think anyway. Let me know what you guys think. Isn't that? Aye, Aye scones. But Dem's got them all. She ran with them all. He's trying to increase his chance of winning. It's a multiple entry scenario. <sighs> <sighs> Bastard. So that's how scornless, eh? No, no. <laughs> Nip across these things, he'll have them. He could deal with the business. Ever since I renovated, I've been kicking his ass. <laughs> Throw the poor bastard the bones, you know? Nice to be nice, I would mind and check the sell by dates. His shells are eye full of fusty pish. <laughs> Right. A year ago, you had a knee injury. Yes, that's right. It was like a watermelon. Aye. <laughs> and you were attending the outpatients department of the Royal Infirmary. Yes, good people working under shite conditions. <laughs> well, as long as you were attending shite the hospital, you did qualify for invalidity. However, they informed us that they gave you the all clear six months ago. Uh-huh. And yet you continued to claim. As a result, we've stopped your money until such times as we recoup the overpayments. What? We've stopped your money, Mr Ingram. You're enjoying this, aren't you? It's nice to have you back, Harry. It's nice to be back, Isa. <laughs> what are you smiling for? Everybody calls me the gossip. We'll be the talk of the steam of the day, you and me. <laughs> Isa's man's back. Oh, really? Just do the blue. <laughs> <sighs> Where have you been, Harry? You're entitled to ask me that question, Isa. <laughs> but I've robbed you of six years. Six? I really feel that, Isa. I really do. Six? <laughs> Let's just say I've been down every road and highway. Six? And I'll tell you something, Isa, sweetheart. All roads lead back to here. <laughs> fuck off. Absolutely fuck right off. That's manipulation right there. I was thinking it was, it was gone for about three, four, five months, six years. Because he knows she cares about him so much. So he's going there, trying this lockout. And when he's, gone, when he's got nothing left, he's coming back. Wow. Poor woman. Poor Isa, man. She's such a lovely person as well. Any more bacon? <laughs> what? Any more bacon? Any more bacon? <laughs> It's an absolute disgrace, it's a, it's a police state! Yeah. There's some poor old bugger getting bodily flung out of the DSS <laughs> offices over there. There's some dodgy bastard at the rob. Uh, I need doubt claiming money they're not entitled to. <laughs> scones, scones, scones. What do they mean to you, Jack, eh? Fifteen words or less, mind. Mm. Mm, scones. Scones are quite the big favourite of mine. Both raisin and plain. When I nick over to the shops on the afternoons, I come back. words, Jack. Just <laughs> to get his burger dress. Aye. <laughs> uh, right enough, it's got to be short and sweet, isn't it? It's got to be dripping with cleverness, eh? Would you like a scone? I don't mind if I do. No. <laughs> that's not really, um, not if I do. Mm. No. What about this? Where's my scone? Where's my scone? Oh, here it is, next to the phone. <laughs> did, did you leave it with the phone? No, I'm trying to rhyme scone and phone, sir. <laughs> did you leave oh. it with the phone? No. No. <coughs> oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. I've got it, I've got it. Sconeo or sconeo? Oh. Nice touch, Italian. Sconeo or sconeo? How I wish that you were mine. Lying on a tea plate, covered in margarine. <laughs> Scones. They are quite smashing. They also are delicious. I keep them in that cupboard there, right beside the dishes. <laughs> Jesus, Jack. <laughs> it worked. 
Nobody's interested in where you keep your scones. It's far too bloody personal. It's, it's got to be about uh, about about how good scones are. Well, I said they were smashing. Aye, and really quite delicious. I'm fed up with this. <gasps> a scone and tea at half past three makes the day a little brighter. Keep your cakes and fancy tarts and, and stick them, them up, up your shelter. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven pence. Jesus. With the reward. Well, it's just a gift I have, you see. My father was quite the wordsmith, I know. Ah, Bisto. That was one of his. <laughs> so you could just come up with fancy phrases for him, now. Ah, just about products and such. The car in front's a Toyota. Oh, go away. That was Sachi and Sachi. Well, that's right. They stole it off me. <laughs> that was my competition entry. But can you imagine me, old Tam, up against the likes of them and their, and their team of lawyers trying to prove it? Nah. Mm. It was David and Goliath stuff. Pure <laughs> David and Goliath. Oh, what about this lighter? Can you give one about a lighter? Oh, no. Nah, Come on. Aye, all right. Fire. Man's all this flame. Oh, oh. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, hey, hey. Tea. One good one deserves another. <laughs> a chocolate bar. Type. Toe blood on. Swiss bliss. Toe oh. <laughs> blood on. Bonnet. Satisfaction guaranteed. It's <laughs> <laughs> all the bloody noise. Ah, uh, Tam. Genius. Bloody genius. Yeah, Victor Jack. Tam. Um, Navid tells me you're gunning for me in a scone competition. That's correct, yes. You got your winning phrase yet, have you? Time's marching on. We're still working on it. We've nearly got it locked down. Ah, good for you, good for you, eh? You want to uh, run it by me and I'll score it out of ten? <laughs> Get it up, you. Yeah. <laughs> know who's won next week? Oh, I'll get them in, sweetheart. I'll have a seat. Lovely, Harry. Uh, Isla, could you... We... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no. Jack, Victor. That's one thing. I feel like, again, I don't know, maybe it's watching my dad growing up. Like, that's one thing I feel like I've been brought up where well, you don't, no, 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 no. You have to treat a lady like a lady every single time. That's just degrading you. No, like, so obviously, sometimes, yeah, my girlfriend might pay for something, but 95% of the time, I'm treat, I want to treat you. I'm taking you out to treat you. She might buy the groceries here and there, you know what I mean? Like, you know, that's normal. But when we're out, I want to be able to treat you. There's no way I'm asking. It's either I'm saying, oh, can you please get that? I'm not asking you, can you give me, you know, five hundred. Obviously, there's times where I might not have cash on me, whatever. And then she might just go get. But that's just, oh, no, 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 no. As a man, I don't, most people might not agree with me, and that's that's fair enough. But for me, I feel comfortable knowing that I'm providing for my girlfriend. As a provider, as a man I am. Am I going too far here? Let me know down below. Thank you. I'd rather just I'd rather pay for everything. Thank you. Alright. Alright. I'm trying to so back, man. What happened? Did you run out of money? Or did she tough for you out? Oh, we're just in for a drink, Victor. I'll have you know you broke that woman's heart. We're all gonna stand by and watch you date twice. Oh, well, how's that? Because if it happens again, you'll have us to deal with. What, you two old duffers? No. The lot is. Well, let's keep it friendly, lads. But eyes are happy. That's all that matters, eh? <laughs> Somebody phoned the police. It's Lord looking. I should have tippled. She had gas parked outside. That's enough, Winston. Shut up, you. You shouldn't be bloody serving him. Isa, have you lost your marbles taking him on again? Right, Winston, that's plenty. Victor and I have dealt with him. Oh, you've dealt with it. Well, how come he's not got two black eyes? <laughs> Prick. <laughs> right, you. Pie and beans and a half a lager. One pound eighty. 
Nine gingies. For God's sake. A packet of dry roasted. Piss off, I don't take gingies. How no? You sell ginger. Aye, and cans. Oot. Winston, let us. No, thank you, Victor. This is a point of principle. Can they gingies took? <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Ah, Jamie bastard. What's <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one again? You see, I don't even know what that means. He's wolfed it. Their forest away. It's gone. It's no there. It's gone. Oh, yeah. Very clever. What an arsehole. <laughs> oh, swallow your bow, gentlemen. Sometimes less is more. You were bettered by a superior catchphrase, which was both simple and elegant. That's no better than yours, Navid. Remind me. Scunny no day that. Oh, dear Christ, no. That is so yesterday. Even the kids have chucked that in. Anyway, are you buying this paper? No, it's a lot of shite. It's all adverts. Winston was in earlier. Oh, aye. Aye, asking for tick. And? And he received the stock reply. Please do not ask for credit as a boot in the tea towel holder are for offence. <laughs> so you're saying he left here with nothing? No, I let him have a tin of cat food. Wow. Winston doesn't have a cat. <laughs> Can't even believe it's come to this. No, doesn't get well. Moving. Here it goes. Eight out of ten pensioners prefer it. <laughs> Eight out of ten pensioners prefer. <laughs> Lads, we come at a bad time, have we? Uh, no, no. I was um just about to sit down to some lunch. And what are you doing after? Going to leap up on the sideboard and lick your balls. Who? We know the good cat food. What the hell are you playing at? You don't want to dig each to come and ask this. No, no. A man must live within his means. Winston, have you any idea what's in cat food? Aye. Liver and marrow and. 500 pounds. <laughs> No oh, <laughs> way. Go on. What is it? Well, that was fantastic, eh? Five hundred quid. <laughs> buy yourself a new one. Same possibly with your football. We <laughs> scratch and push. Ah, yeah. <laughs> scratch and one of the wee diamond collars and all that. <laughs> we named that Jack Winston. <laughs> Shut up. Right. I'm gonna buy you some lunch. Look at that. It's funny, isn't it? Now that is clever. Scone. See, it's so tasty, it's a way. <laughs> Who is it that comes up with that stuff? That's put me in the mind for one. I'm gonna have one for my lunch. Scone. Why is it? What's the matter, darling? Are you gone again? I come in here for a spot of lunch with Harry. You're a prick. Where is he here? He went to the loo about half an hour ago. Just check there. He must have snuck out my purses away. Ah, bastard. You can hardly be surprised now, can you? No. I suppose not. not. Here, you want to sit with us for a wee while? Aye. Aye, that'd be lovely, Jack. Plenty more fish in the sea, eh? Aye. <laughs> Plenty more fish in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Make 
looking at Brick, eh? Running into the lab, eh? Feel like a bloody puss. I know. It's a useless dead beat, isn't it? Help! He's a horn! Hey! Is that you? Geese are diggy! Wow! Aye, aye. No way! Don't bother, Harry. We'll give you a wee shove. Aye! We'll give you a push, Harry. And also, do you see, at that ending, when the geezer, when Ari didn't show up, the fact that they all say, you know what, it doesn't matter, there's plenty of fish in the sea, we'd have dinner with you, you know, it's all, it's all about having a community, people that care about you, that's why sometimes people say, you know, check on your neighbours, you know, especially if you have elderly neighbours, check on them, sometimes, you know, the kids might not come see them every Christmas or every Easter, you know, see what they're doing, it's just, it's good to have human interaction sometimes, I'm the kind of person that can go, Maybe just me. I can go days without talking to, just talking to my girlfriend. You know, I love it. I love, I love being alone. But I feel like the older you get, you just, you crave that human interaction. I could be wrong. Let me know what you guys think down below. I really enjoyed that. It's good to be back reacting. Switzerland was so, so fun. I was in Geneva with a message for Valentine's Day. Romantic. Yeah, if you guys love that, you want to see more, comment down below. I'll try to react more. I'm going to start doing a few more. I'll start reacting more on, um, current affairs stuff so let me know if there's anything going on in the uk they're like oh eddie check this out any news any big stuff any crazy stuff that's going on i want to start implementing that but i'm going to focus on the uk so i'll be doing uk comedy uk current affairs and just, just trying about that yeah thanks and i'll see you guys very soon Bye bye